All right, it's time. Holy God, what happened to the background? Fuck. Anyway, this is Jafar's palace. This is honestly what I was talking about. The, this level to me is just lazy as fuck. I hate this level. It's got like bits and pieces of the previous level in it. But they didn't really change anything, they just recolored a bunch of other shit. And, I mean, it's now red, there's fire on the ground, there's blue versions of the Shivas. What? Okay. It gets worse. I don't know, this is just not... They tried to make it way too difficult. Oh, here. Golden ball and chains. Awesome. I don't know, it is pretty difficult. Uh, lots of sp um, spikes, lots of guards. Thankfully, there's a lot of health around the level 2 to sort of even things out, but yeah. I don't know, it just seems a little... whatever. Um, in case you haven't noticed by now, you can swing your sword and pick up any items you need. It kind of saves your butt in a few spots, like right there, where it may look like you have to jump off to get that heart, but now you just swing your sword. What the hell? Stop staring at me, weirdo. Yep. More jumping and pits and spikes and doom. And then another rug section, because lord knows we needed that. And really quickly, I'm gonna jump off here and grab this heart, just to be at full health. Might as well, right? Okay, so back to the, uh... The game. Yeah, this is... So I think you actually can hit her jewels back and actually hurt her. I've done it before. It's just not easy to do, so... I don't know. Screw it, I guess. Man, Iago really gets around. You bitch. Holy god, why is he back? I don't know, there's just something about this god-awful, fucking, terribly, almost wannabe 3D rendered snakes in the background that make me just fucking hate life. Yeah, you're not. You're being a dick. Alright. Well, at least there's two hearts. That's... I don't know, is that better? Am I better off than I was before? I don't know. Oh well, too bad. And then they like to do this, where there's like three area enemies in like the span of two Aladdin heights. It's crazy. You little whore. There we go. Alright, so... Over here, in a few seconds, is another carpet. And thankfully you can just sort of hop across those ledges. You don't really have to do too much to uh, fight those guards, but this carpet will bring us over to the end boss, right here, as you can tell from that music. Anyway, so, basically Jafar has his magic cane, which sort of drags you towards the center. Uh, guess what his weakness is? Apples, just like, whoops, no, oh, that was a pause button, anyway. Uh, yeah, his, his weakness is apples, just like every other effing boss in the game. Just jump. Hell, you don't even have to jump. If you do it right, you can walk up and just spam the effing button. I'm, uh, I'm not doing that, so there'll be some sort of sense of drama here. But it's... It is pretty lame. They also kind of wasted Jafar's model, because, like, you never see him. He's so far away. The place you fight him from is, like, right over here. So you can either A, continue jumping and spamming apples like this, or you can just, like, walk up and slap him with an apple. Wow, I missed every one of those. You can just spam him to death. Um, the fun way to do it, in my opinion, is to do it the way it should be done, where you're throwing apples here over each crest of each fire, and eventually you run out. So, you have to run across these, which catch fire as you do so. And you just keep doing it until he's goddamn dead. Still, you know, just 
not a very good boss design. Especially considering you don't ever, like, fucking see him. This is just... crazy. There we go, that was a good one. And that music loop is just way too short. Oh, check this out. If you pause over here, he stops shooting the fireballs. That's kind of funny. Anyway, whatever. Still not dead, I guess. There we go. Level complete and game complete. Hell yeah. And then, um, you know, tired entirely out of place. I can show you the world. Aw, how dainty. She lifts her leg. And then that's it, the end. No credit, you know, that enjoy the credits. I hope I hope you didn't care what happened to the story. They kiss. Awesome. Aladdin's gonna get it on. But yeah, um, there you can see background art by Nick Broody, Steve Crow. Totally guys who did, uh, and then Tommy Tarico. There's totally some, some, uh, Earthworm Gym vets. But yeah, the game is really fun. It's really fun to play. But, uh, the one thing it is not is very good at telling a goddamn story. Like, if this was your first exposure to Aladdin, I don't know, I'd feel really bad for you. This is fucking terrible. There was one focus tester. Oh, maybe product analysts is what they call them. And apparently one of them was a cat. Which is great. I'm actually reading the credits. It's really rare that I ever actually do this. I don't know why I am. They had two separate QA teams? Okay, that's cool. It's actually a pretty good version of Whole New World. And I'm glad I'm talking over it so you guys can't hear it. That's gonna be very nice. But I mean, come on, it's like a fucking MIDI. You remember when we used to download MIDIs because, like, MP3s were really, really, really huge and not everyone had a goddamn big hard drive? Which in that time was like 500 meg. God, I feel old now. What am I doing? Wow, that is one hell of a name. Ellen Beth Van Buskirk. You know, Jasmine can really hold her leg up there for a long fucking time. That's gonna be gotta be pretty hot in bed. It's got nothing. Man, they are fucking lip locked. There's dirty things happening behind Aladdin's face there. God, what the hell is that sound? It's like Mario's doorbell just rang or something. And then it ends with Gotta Fly! Anyways, that's it. Merry Christmas, guys. See you in Overlord next year.